course, they, they sacked Graham Potter. They've mm. um, brought in Frank again. Now they're being linked to, to Pochettino as a long-term boss. Do you think that'd be a good choice for Chelsea? Um, I don't think it would be a bad choice. Like, let's be honest. He's had the experience of working with some of the best footballing players in in world in the world. Sorry, the Neymar's, the Mbappe's, Messi's, etc. So he knows how to deal with egos. He's had to deal with egos and. The Chelsea players are used to playing a certain type of football, working with a certain type of manager and, and owner. So they they become stuck in their ways to an extent. So he will have an understanding of how to deal with certain players in certain situations. And he's really good with the younger players as well. So you would like to think it is a good fit. I'll be intrigued to know what the, the Spurs fans think of it as well, because obviously he was linked with a, a, a move back there as well. And that's not quite worked out, is it? There's not a lot about Natalie. You're That's, about? Well, I know I'm about, but, you know... I'm uh, about. I'm not called... You're going as a double act. I'm told... I'm, <laughs> man, listen to this. If I was called Sam Aladicio, I'd have been right at the top. <laughs> no problem whatsoever. So, uh, if, if my name was Aladicio and I spoke with a slightly attached English accent, then I'd be fine. But uh, being a bit broad and, and a bit Midland stroke Northwestern, uh, when it comes to the top jobs... Yeah, you get most of us managers. That's why I'm so disappointed, Graham, not being successful because yeah, he's British. 